Hello, in this video we're going to do an interesting math problem. We have an infinite sum. It goes from 1 to infinity of 4 to the n over parentheses 3n to the nth power. And the question is to determine if it converges or diverges. So solution. We're going to use something called the root test. So the root test says that we can take the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n. And this here, this, this whole thing here, this is our a sub n in this problem. And if the answer we get is less than one, then we can say the series converges. If the answer we get is equal to one, we can say that the test was inconclusive. And if we, the answer we get is greater than 1, we can say the series diverges. So this is the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of, and we have 4 to the n over 3n to the n. So we can do a couple things here to clean this up. Let's start by uh, removing the absolute value. We don't need it. Uh, everything here is positive. And then let's also rewrite this fraction, this 4 to the n. Let's write it as 4 over 3n to the n. And then we still have the nth root out here. So we drop the absolute value and we combine this fraction. And now you can clearly see that the nth root and the nth power, they cancel. So we get the limit as n approaches infinity of 4 over 3n. And this is going to approach 0 because n gets really, really, really big. The fraction gets really small the bigger that n gets, so it approaches 0. So that's, oh, so it's less than 1. So let me write that down. It's less than 1. So our series converges in this case. So our series converges by, and we used, we used the root test. So by the root test. So important to just indicate, you know, to whoever is reading our work that uh, that's that's how we um, tested for convergence. So hopefully this has been helpful and you have learned some mathematics. Nice, uh, simple problem, not too difficult. Um, just a little bit of algebra, dropping the absolute value, being aware everything is positive, and then rewriting. Uh, 4 to the n over 3n to the n as a single uh, fraction there, and then the cancellation. So nice, nice problem. I hope you've learned some math. Take care.